In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the related RSS plugin. After your purchase, you should have gone to our download page and downloaded the zip file. Do not unzip the zip file, just leave it as is, and then proceed to the installation and setup page that I'm on right now. This will walk you step by step, but this video is just a backup to show you how easy it is to actually install the plugin the first time. So I'm going to go to a website that I have, uh, bestkeywordtools.net, and it's just a kind of tiny little niche review site, and you can see right here that I have a RSS feed on the sidebar. Now I do this so that there is fresh content on the site. That you know, every time there's a new story, it generates a fresh content on the on the site. But this appears in, in the in every single sidebar of my entire WordPress blog. So you can see if I click on another page like this review here, it's the same exact feed on every single page. So the related RSS plugin actually makes it so that you can have a unique RSS feed on every single page, as you probably know since you've already purchased. But let me just use this as an example, and I'm going to go to the dashboard of bestkeywordtools.net, and I'm going to go to Plugins and Add New, and I'm going to click on Upload, and with this I'm actually going to locate the file on my desktop, I'm going to click on Browse, and I here I already have it um, zipped up in a folder right here, so I'm going to double click that, and I'm going to click on Install, and it's now installing the plugin, and now I'm going to click on Activate Plugin, and once I've activated the plugin, it's going to appear in my plugin list here with a settings link, but there's also a sidebar uh, settings link that I can click right here. So I'm going to click on that link, and here you'll see a little more intro to our product. These are some direct links to our website and to our affiliate program and support uh, resources, so if you need any assistance, you can do that. There's also a link to these exact same instructions from this page right here. So if you click that, that'll go right to our installation page. It'll answer all your questions about the uh, the plugin. So here are the settings. The first thing we have are different feeds. We have four feeds, Google News, Yahoo, uh, MSN or Bing, and Topics. Actually, if you click on each of these, you'll see that the feed changes here to display the actual URL. Uh, and then I'll click on back on Google News and leave that as is. If you wish to use a third-party feed that accepts keyword tags, so some kind of random news, custom news generator, you can do that. The only thing you need to do is, once you place the feed in here, you would replace the keywords with this tag uh, for just the keywords. This actually uses um, our system. It's, it's part of our script that actually pulls in the keywords for the tag. So don't change this. Don't think that you have to type anything inside this keyword. Uh, leave it as is. So for default tags, I actually had preset up this one test, so it actually showed what I had typed in before in the database. So normally this would be blank, but you'd enter in your keywords here, whatever you want your default keyword to be. So if you're ever said about dog training, you would put dog training, and that would be the default feed that would appear on every page that doesn't have a tag or doesn't have a custom field set up. So it's kind of like the backup, all-encompassing uh, feed uh, keywords. The next feature we have is post first tag. Uh, what this does is turns off our post first tag functionality. So what happens is, is our plugin looks for the first tag of your post to generate the unique keyword feed. If, for example, you have hundreds of pages and you're not sure that if those first tags will actually generate news, then you may want to disable them. In other words, not every not every word or tag is going to generate a news feed. So if you have a large site, you may want to disable this until you can check your tags to make sure that all those tags uh, will generate a, a feed. So I'm going to leave that enabled for this example. Finally, we have spread the word. Uh, this is if you really like the plugin, uh, you can actually just click on the attribution link and it gives us a link, uh, link back to our website. If you would like to be an affiliate, you can learn more and sign up here. And then you would just enter your affiliate link here and then you would get earn a commission for anyone that sees that plugin and goes, hey, what's this? Uh, let me click this link, and you earn a you'll earn money every time somebody orders the uh, the plugin. Uh, the one thing just I should say is that this needs to be checked as well if you're going to enter in the link. All this does is this link overrides our link, so make sure the attribution link is checked. So once I have all my settings saved, I just click on Save Settings, and the next thing I want to do is go to Widgets because we have a related RSS widget here. You can see this is my current uh, SEO. Uh, widget. Uh, this is actually the default widget for WordPress where I've entered in a custom feed, but I don't need to use that anymore, so I can just click on delete that. And I want to drag over my related RSS uh, widget. And here I can give the feed a title. Another neat feature is I can actually put uh, this little variable in here, and it will give me a unique title for all my uh, feeds. So I can just type in news, and this will grab the keywords from any post 
um, tag or custom field and insert them here in the sidebar for your page. So you actually get a unique title for every single page and post as well. I can exclude page IDs if I'd like. If I, if I don't want to put a um, you know custom feed on my contact page, for example, I can leave uh, my contact and it will actually disable the RSS from the contact page or from other pages of your site. Then I can choose how many items I'd like to display. I'm just going to leave it at 10 for right now, but I can change that up to 20. For display item content, if you want to display a summary of the uh, of the feed, you can actually do that by clicking on display item content. And you can change the number of characters that just displayed up to a total of 350. So if you only want to display 50 or 100 characters, you can change that as well. And these are just additional things, display item author, display item date. I'm going to leave those blank for now. And finally, we've added one feature that people have been wanting for a long time with sidebar RSS feeds. It's open links in new window. So if you have the feed, you can actually just use this to open the links in the new window, and it keeps people um, on your site. So they, when they click on a new story, they don't, they don't leave your site. Uh, it just opens a new window for that story. So finally, I'm going to click on Save for that. And now I can go back to my, once that's saved, I can go back to my uh, original blog, and you see this is the old feed here, and I'll click on Reload. And you'll see it now says Domain Research News because the first tag for this post is Domain Research. And so that's a unique feed. If I click on, say, this one, it now says Keyword Tools News because the default first tag for this one was Keyword News. And so on and so forth. I click on anything in here. Uh, this is going to say Brad Callen News because here's the first tag is Brad Callen in there. So you might want to check to see if these are actually apply, but it's a Brad Callen product, so the first tag was Brad Callen. So that's one of, the, one, of the, one of those things where you need to just go and check and make sure that all the tags make sense for you. Now the other thing I can do is I can go back into my posts and let's go to my posts and here's the, here's the Brad Callen post right here and I can scroll down and here are the custom feeds that I was talking about. So let's say I want to change this to something else. I, without having to change all my widgets I can just go in here and change keywords and I can just put in a value. For example, I could just I could just put in the you know keyword. All right, and I'll click on Add Custom Field, and then I'll update that post. And now I come back here, and this is just going to say Keyword News. So you see that. So what that does, it replaced the first tag. It overrode the first tag functionality with that. And then let's just say. I'll take this uh, Market Samurai one, and let's say that I want to put in a custom a custom field for the URL. So say I want to override the domain research um, title there. I can go in here and enter a new. Oops, enter a new one. RSS feed URL, and I can actually use a feed from one of my WordPress sites. So I can actually paste in. This feed, which, which I took from one of my uh, other other sites, just a WordPress blog, but I click on Add Custom Field, and then I click on Update, and then I can go and view this post, and you're going to see that uh, first off, it doesn't change the it doesn't change the uh, title. We may add another custom field for that, um, but you can see right here that it actually grabs um, links from my other website. So if you want to interlink your websites via feeds, you can use this as well to generate those. And you actually should open a new window too. Did I did I set that? I guess I didn't set that in the widget. But anyhow, um, that's how that's how you use that um, to generate unique feeds, and that's how you install the uh, the plugin. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment on the site. And uh, thanks for watching the video.